Everyone I've met in prison that have conned someone or scammed someone and wound up in prison for it couldn't wait till their release date so they could get out and do it again. This is Brett Champion, a reformed con artist who began pulling scams at the age of 15. We convinced him to reveal the tricks of his trade and to demonstrate a classic con. Why would a successful con artist reveal his secrets? According to Brett, he's now gone straight, and this is all part of his new fraud prevention program. I had a telemarketing operation of my own where we were selling shares in oil wells that didn't exist, and the FBI finally came in and shut us down, and Brett Champion had to do three years in federal prison. While I was in prison, I decided I don't want to be a 50-year-old man conning people. So I thought, how can I take this negative situation and turn it into a positive situation? Brett used his time behind bars to write a best-selling book on fraud prevention. After his release, Champion promoted himself as a scam expert, educating the public on how to protect themselves from con artists. Can we go? Is she ready? I want to go right now. Can we go? Are you ready? I'm ready, Bob. Uh-huh. OK, let's go. Action. Using hidden cameras at a posh Los Angeles restaurant, Brett Champion staged a classic con known as the ring scam. Brett is hoping to fool a greedy bar patron into buying an expensive looking ring the patron believes to be extremely valuable. Brett hired this actress as his partner in crime. Here, she sets up the victims. I lost a ring, um, it's a big wedding ring. It's a, um, it's like, it's three carats. It's worth about $35,000. If you guys, I'm so sorry to bother you guys sorry. like this. Can I give you my name and yes, number? Please. And just, um, I have, I have $2,000 cash I can give you if you guys can find it. Sure. Oh my God, I don't believe it. Take a look at this. There's a lady here. Really. Some lady was just, just, for just that. here just looking for that. Yeah. Enter Brett Champion, who flashes an expensive looking ring. When a man at the bar shows interest, Champion preys upon his greed. If you want this ring, you got to give me something for it. I'll give you the ring. You can do whatever you want with it. It's just here. How much? I don't know. It's probably worth thousands of dollars. Uh, How much you want? 500 bucks. The ring, of course, is practically worthless. Who is the victim of the con? The man who is paying the $500, right? Wrong. We were. When Brett Champion set up this hidden camera scam, he assured our producers that only he and the actress would be part of the operation. Later, he admitted that both the bartender and the man who paid the money were also part of his scam. In short, Brett Champion conned us. And the reason I deceived the TLC production staff was to show that anyone can get conned, anyone can get fooled, not just the average person on the street, and we succeeded. The way I look at it is if one person watches this television show and learns how not to become victimized by fraud, I feel that I've done my job to help society. I hated the old Brett Champion because he did the wrong thing, because he broke the law, because he went against his morals, and because he hurt other people. But the story doesn't end there. Just four weeks after this interview, Brett Champion, who said he had gone straight, was arrested for telemarketing fraud. Champion's real name is Stephen Robert Commissar. According to official reports, he was accused of selling phony investments over the phone. Having already served two jail terms, if Champion is convicted on all charges, he could end up serving 80 years in jail. Being a con man is a lonely, sleazy, dirty, filthy existence. It's almost like sticking a needle full of heroin in your arm. In other words, Commissar's whole performance as Brett Champion, repentant con artist, may have been in itself just another scam. Welcome to the confusing world of the con man, a complicated network of lies, double dealings, and ever-shifting realities that go on around us every day.